Obviously, Tony Romo's got a pitch count because of the injury, but just with your body after playing as many years in the league and obviously you haven't put a timetable on it, do you have to temper yourself out at these practices and whatnot just to make sure you're staying healthy? Yeah. No, I, I've, you know, I try to push myself the best I can right now. I mean, obviously, coaches make that decision for you, and I think more than anything, you get in that routine, you feel confident in what you can do and how you can practice and prepare. And So uh, I'd rather leave it all out there than say I still had some gas in the tank. You know Tony better than anybody. What's he telling you about his injury and how, how he's doing? Well, I think he's coming along well. I mean, I think, you know, uh, anytime you're coming off those type of injuries, everybody's always concerned. But I think he looks really good. He's throwing the ball with the same zip, all the things that I look for, uh, I've seen. And so I'm sure they, they got a plan to how he's going to ease back into it. But I, I think he looks really good, and I think he's more invested now than he's ever been. And, uh, I don't see that being a concern as far as his health coming back. Yeah, I thought Brandon done well. I mean, it's tough to come in, being in a new system, and have to walk in and go out there with the with the first group. So, just something as simple as a snap count can be different. We're used to hearing one voice for so long. So, I, I thought he's done a great job so far. He's just a true pro. Quite a few uh, new running backs that you may be blocking for. What do you like from what you've seen from some of the new young? Guys? Yeah, well, obviously, I, I think Demarco is just going to continue to get better and can build off. Last year and having a thousand yard rushing, I think Lance Dunbar is going to be a nice player for us. He looks really good. He's got some speed, and um, so I really like him as well. So I think the other guys, the more they get reps and opportunities, chance they'll get to prove himself. But I think in this system, running backs can can do a lot, not just in the running game, but in the passing game as well. Last year you had Dez, Tyron, Demarco, a first time Pro Bowlers. You remember when your first Pro Bowl? Did it ever dawn you like? Hey, this is pretty good. I want to get back here yeah. again. And did, did that drive you at all when you made your first one? Yeah, I think, I think for all those guys, I mean, you know, there's not harder workers and more competitive guys than the guys you just mentioned, Dez and Demarco and Tyron. But I think for anybody, you do it once. Say, man, I, I want to go and stack a whole bunch of these together, and I think it gives you confidence that you can do it. And uh, obviously, those guys are elite players, and I think they're ingrained in this system. They're, they're committed to help turn this around and I think their focus is obviously they want to be the best players they can be but also helping this team compete for a championship. Dez wants a new contract obviously and when you look at him he certainly comes out here but with the same attitude it doesn't seem to be that. <coughs> no this is, I mean, he's grown so much as a player and as an individual uh, just really proud of him I mean I think that there's not a harder worker on this team than Des Bryant and um, just obviously he's a really really good football player uh, going to be one of the best, you know, but uh, he prepares the right way, uses his time to get better, and uh, definitely deserving of that. Just to see the, the, the person he's developed into and grown into, uh, I take a lot of pride in seeing that, and it's fun to watch, be a part of. Romo last week said it, it kind of feels like a newer team to him. Do you get that same sense, and what do you have to do to try and help these guys grow and mature? Well, I, I think you do it by the example you set every day, you know, and just being out there and, and, and leading from at the top and it starts with the coaching staff and then it goes down to the leaders of this team. I, I think that's first and foremost. And you, you want to talk about getting over the hump. you got to go do it. Nobody's going to give you anything. You have to earn that. And uh, that's by getting better as an individual and then doing it as a group. So, um, yeah, there's some new faces and obviously we lost some guys that we had a lot of success with. But that's the nature of this league and this business and you have to embrace that. And I think our team's done a good job of that. And, these guys are coming to work every day, and that's all we can ask right now. When the season starts, how much of a difference will it make that Tony hasn't been out here on the field very much in, in, at this time? Of year? Well, I mean, we dealt with it last year, and I thought we were had we had good um, feel with him and rapport with him on the field. So I, I, you know, hope that he continues to progress, and we do get a chance to work with him. But um, he's constantly communicating in the meetings and the walkthroughs. Uh, so I think everybody's clear of what he wants and how we can run these routes and block it and do all those things. So he definitely takes charge of that, and uh, he'll get back out there soon enough.